everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be talking all about the new complexion products from Tom Ford. I recently uploaded my review of the new cream quads, the Violet Satin and the Velours Khaki. If you guys have not checked out that video, I will link it up in the iCards and also in the description box down below. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about the new Shade and Illuminate Contour Duos along with two of the new highlighter duos. I'm going to be trying on Intensity 1 and also Intensity 2 from the Contour Palette and Tan Light and Peach Light. So those are the palettes that I'm gonna be featuring in today's video. And I will also be sharing tons of swatches and comparisons just so that you guys can get an idea for the tones and if these are something that you need in your collection. So let's go ahead and jump into the details. If you guys have been with me for a while, you will know that I have absolutely loved the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate contour palette. This is Intensity 2. I've almost reached pan on this sucker. I've had it for a long time. The formula is always creamy, always blendable, always dependable, and it has been one of my absolute favorites. So when I heard about this relaunch, I was interested to see if the formula was the same, if the shades were the same. So I went ahead and bought Intensity 2 in the new palettes along with Intensity 1 because I wanted to see how these shades compare. I wanted to see how Intensity 2 in the new one compares to Intensity 2 in my old formula. Now, just for shade reference, I am a medium with a golden undertone, and I will list a few popular foundations out on the market and what shades I wear in those foundations, just so you guys can get a good idea of my complexion. As we go through the video, you can see how these apply on my skin tone. So these palettes come in four different shades. We have Intensity 0.5, which is the lightest of the four, Intensity 1, Intensity 2, and Intensity 3. So those are the four shades. They retail for $90 each. They are available at multiple retailers, which I will link them all in the description box down below. And if you guys are interested in these, right now they are on sale at Nordstrom's for $76.50. So just FYI, I don't know how long they're gonna be on sale, but they are currently on sale. So these are being described as a contour duo that is reinvented with treated pigments and a cream to satin formula for a flawless contour. Infused with moisturizing botanical oils, the new formula blends seamlessly into skin for natural dimension. Use the darker shade for depth, the lighter shape to enhance the high points, or combine both to customize your intensity. I have not noticed a difference between the original and the new formula. Just FYI, I'm gonna say that from the gate. I have been testing these and playing with these for the last several days and I have not noticed a difference between the old formula versus the new. It seems like they're the same, but that's just my personal opinion. So that's the information on the contour duos. Let's get into the highlighter duos. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was very excited about these and I'm not even wearing highlighter that much these days, but there was just something about the tones and knowing that Tom Ford can get it right. They have the ability to get it right. And I was really hoping that these were gonna be great. So I went ahead and grabbed two shades. These Shade and Illuminate Highlighter Duos also retail for $90. They come in four different shade combinations. So we have Nude Light, which looks to be the lightest of the four. And then we have Mood Light, Peach Light, and tan light. Now in this video, I'm going to be featuring tan light and also peach light. So I have both the peach light and the tan light. And not only do I put these on the face, but I also am wearing the tan light on my eyes. I wanted to see how these would wear and look as eyeshadow, you know, for those quick, easy, monochromatic makeup looks. So these are being described as highlighting duos that will sculpt and define featuring two versatile, customizable hues, each delivering one stroke luminosity. Infused with vitamin E, this new sensual formula offers the payoff of a liquid highlighter with fine iridescent pearls that scatter light to, to optically lift 
and define your facial architecture. Use the lighter shade to highlight and the darker shade to bronze or combine both for a sheer glow. So that's the description on these. Let's go ahead and jump into the try on and I'm gonna try on all these products, letting you guys know my feelings along the way. Then we will get into the swatches and comparisons and then I will jump into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. So let's go ahead and jump into the try on portion of this video. I have used these a few times. So I've had them for a couple of days. I wanted to kind of play around with the new shade and illuminate contour formula to see if it is the same as the original. And also to play with the highlighter duos and kind of get a good feel for them before I did a review on them because they're $90. I didn't want to just try it one time and be like, yay, these are great, or no, they're not, right? Like I mentioned in the intro, I originally had Intensity 2, which is this palette. Now, I've almost hit pan on this contour. I've had it for a very long time, and this is one of my favorite contour products for multiple reasons. Number one, it's easy to blend. Number two, it looks really, really natural. This was the first cream contour product I ever tried, and it's so easy to use that it's very user-friendly, right? So it's one of those products that if you struggle with cream contour or powder contour, you will love this formula. Now the highlighting portion kind of gives that natural glow. And even though it is a cream formula, it's not sticky and tacky. So your hair doesn't kind of stick to your face and stuff like that. The difference between these two are the highlighter right? The highlighter is the biggest difference. But in my opinion, the contour shades are the same. So I don't see a difference between the original. So this is the original and this is the new right here. And I also do not feel that there's a difference in the formula. So in my opinion, the formula pretty much applies the exact same way. The only thing that I'm noticing that's different is that highlighter shade. That's the highlighter in the new shade and it's really pretty. Now, how does that compare to the original Intensity 2? You'll see right there. Now, new Intensity 1, so let me swatch that right there really fast so you guys can see that. This is the new Intensity 2, the original, the old Intensity 2, and this is the new Intensity 1. So they're all three different. I would say you probably wouldn't notice that much of a difference between these two putting them on the face, but this one definitely is different. So before we dive into this, I am actually going to put up some footage of me applying the original Intensity 2 on one side and the new Intensity 2 on the other side. And the reason why I wanna do that now is because I want, I want you guys to see how both of them look on the face because today I am going to apply Intensity 1 of the new formula on this side and Intensity 2 on the other side. So I wanna show you footage of both. So let's go ahead and jump into that footage and I will see you guys in a sec. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the new Intensity 2. I always like to keep my foundation brush handy, especially if I'm working with a shade that's a little darker. You want to make sure that you have that to kind of melt it into the skin. So I'm going to wipe the brush off and I'm going to go into the old intensity too. I mean, you can see it's just as dark. It's crazy. I think those two shades are the same. Okay. So I hope that that footage was helpful. I'm sure you guys could tell that there's really not a difference between intensity two from the new versus the old. That's just based on my experience. We're gonna go ahead and apply intensity two on one side and intensity one on the other because I want you guys, for those of you out there who are my complexion, I want you guys to see both options. I'm gonna use my Patrick Ta contour brush and I'm gonna go into intensity one and I like to dip into it on the center of the brush and I'm just gonna tap this in starting at my hairline and bringing it down. Okay. 
Now what I love about this brush is that you can do it so many different ways. So you can kind of angle the brush any way you want to kind of buff out those edges. This brush is amazing. <laughs> it works so good. I love it. It works good for both powder and cream. So I'm going to go ahead and put intensity one on the forehead up here. Now, the reason why I say that Intensity 1 for me is more of a bronzer color because it's warmer and it has a warmer undertone to it on, on my complexion. And Shade 2 is a little bit more cool toned. It's much darker, so you don't want to apply as much because it is much darker. You can kind of see it warmed up the face, kind of gave some structure. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe the brush off. Also, a trick when applying cream contour is to keep your foundation brush or sponge handy while you're applying your cream contour. Cause you can use your, whatever you use to apply your foundation to kind of tap out the edges and make it kind of blend into your foundation. Now I'm gonna go into intensity two. And again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick it up right about this area on the brush. And I'm gonna start with a smaller amount of this one because it's darker. So I'm gonna go like, this and bring it down and then I'm going to take what's left on the brush and bring it up here on the base of the forehead you want to get a brush like this you could also take a brush like this, like a tip like this. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit like this. And you probably have a brush like this in your collection. Okay, and then just tap it out. Like it's so easy to tap. You'll notice that this side is a little bit more natural, a little bit kind of more bronzed. This side is more sharp. It's a little bit more contoured, right? So if you're my complexion, either one of these will work for you. It just depends on what you're wanting it for. Whether you want it to be a little bit more bronzy or you're wanting it to be a little bit more defined to kind of really give structure to the face. I will say this, if you're new to cream contour and you're wanting to buy these to kind of get into it, I would recommend going with intensity one, not the darker shade. The darker shade might be a little bit tricky for you and it might be a little bit too intimidating in the beginning. So I don't know that I would jump out of the gate with that darker color. That's just my advice. I'm gonna go ahead and put my finger into the intensity one and I'm gonna tap it right here on my cheek so that you guys can see how that looks. You'll see it's a very natural highlight extremely natural. I prefer putting it on once I have put on some powder and kind of powdered everything down because it brings kind of that skin like back to the face. Go ahead and grab some of this intensity too right here. It's so pretty. Both of them are really pretty. Let's go ahead and jump into the new highlighter duos. This is peach light and this is tan light. Now, unfortunately, I don't have anything to compare these two because I never bought the highlighter duos. So these were new to me and I have a lot to say about them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put peach light on this side and I'm gonna put tan light on this side. So for my natural hair, I'm gonna use the number four brush from Refer. The synthetic brush, I'll be using the A507 from BK Beauty in the Angie from Hot and Flashy collaboration. So I'm gonna use this brush first and I'm gonna go into the peach light. And you can see it kind of gave a little bit of shine to the cheek. Let's move on to the tan light. I'm gonna be using the refer number four. Now on my complexion, tan light shows up a little bit better. And you can see it has that glow right there. 
The one thing that I will say about this formula is even though it has a glow to it, it doesn't emphasize your texture, wrinkles, pores. I mean, I'm putting it on some of my textured areas and some of this like orange pill, pory area, and it doesn't emphasize. It has the softest iridescence to it. So I'm gonna wipe this brush off and I'm gonna show you how the natural haired brush will build up this side in the peach light. So I'm gonna grab it like that. For me, the natural haired brush picks up more product. It applies a little bit better for me personally with a natural haired brush. It seems like the synthetic brush just doesn't quite grab the pigment and the natural haired brush grabs it and puts it on beautifully. So just FYI for the- I love this as a blush topper, both of them. So yesterday I wasn't filming, I was running a bunch of errands and I was also doing a bunch of editing and I wore these as blush toppers and it's stunning. So putting on a beautiful matte blush and then putting this over top, gorgeous. I'm gonna show you what it looks like mixed with a matte blush. This is a Tom Ford Shade Illuminate 03 Peach Poison. So I'm gonna grab a little bit, okay? Tap off. And so now I'm gonna grab a little bit of peach light. So if you're my complexion, you can totally wear these on their own and they give that soft iridescence. But if you're in a blush mood and you want to make it pop, try it with a matte blush. It will intensify your matte blush like a perfection. It's gorgeous. And I went ahead and powdered and kind of softened everything up. Even though everything's kind of softened up, I still have that really pretty iridescence on the cheek. These are very texture friendly, very pore friendly, just so pretty. They're, they're so pretty. I am going to put on the highlighter and I'm also gonna use a synthetic brush and a natural hair brush, just so you guys can see. So this is the artist brush from Wayne Goss, and I'm gonna go into the peach light. Mm, I mean, so gorgeous, right? Oh, these are so pretty, you guys. Now I'm gonna take the tapered highlighter brush from Sigma, and I'm gonna go into the tan light. You can see on this black brush, it still picks it up, right? So there's still pigment there. Oh, we're gonna pop that right there. Now the peach light highlighter is kind of a pinky silvery color. It's more of a cool toned highlighter. That's the color of it. It has kind of that peachy base, but it's like a peachy pink with like a silver base. The tan light is definitely a gorgeous gold. So that's tan light. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the tan light as eyeshadow, just to see how these look, how they apply, and you know, see if we can really get our money's worth because they're so expensive. Is that not so pretty on the eyelid? Because it's for the face, it's really complimentary on the eyelid, on like the wrinkles and the folds of the eye and stuff like that. It's not emphasizing, it's not like a traditional shimmer shadow because that's it's not a shimmer shadow. I am now going to grab this gold shade and I'm just gonna kind of bring that in the crease. I'm gonna grab the Mink Mirage quad and I'm gonna grab this shade right here and I'm gonna bring it on my lower lash line just to kind of give some structure to the eye. I'm gonna just gently kind of sweep that right there on the bridge of the brow bone just to create that definition. I'm gonna take a smudge brush and I'm gonna go into this darker shade in the Mink Mirage. creating a little bit of this dimension and lift here on this outer corner, just a little bit. Just having fun with it, you guys. I love this kind of stuff. 
that's it for the try on portion of the video. Let's go ahead and jump into the swatch, the comparisons. I will be sharing these images with and without a flash because the flash really helps to provide the undertones of shades. Once we get through the swatch, the comparisons, we will go ahead and jump into my final thoughts. So I'll see you guys then. I am back. I do hope that those swatches and comparisons were helpful. Let me go ahead and get into my final thoughts. I'm gonna first start with the shade and illuminate contour palettes. These are great. These are great. And I'm so happy that they have come out with more shades and I hope that they continue to widen the range because these are great. They're just really beautiful. They blend and melt into the skin. And I'm really glad that I have Intensity One in my collection now because I will be using it to give me more of that bronzy kind of natural makeup look. During the application, I kept saying, I don't notice the difference between the old Intensity Two and the new Intensity Two. The shade for me looked exactly the same. It really did until I was doing the swatches and comparisons. That is when I noticed that the new Intensity Two is a tad bit darker. It's not very noticeable, but if you do look, especially under the flash, you will see that the new shade of Intensity 2 is a little bit darker than the original. Don't feel like you need to run out and grab this if you already have it. If you're looking for something that's still really good quality, but is a little bit more affordable, there are a lot of options out there. First off, we have this palette from Vanity Makeup. So this is the Medium Trio. It is a Sculpt and Glow palette. The only thing that I don't like in this palette is the glow. The glow is not that pretty. And the glow, I don't really like the formula either. It's just, ugh, it's not my favorite formula. I have the medium and I also have the tan. And I did compare these two shades next to these from Tom Ford. So these are a great option. And of course, I'm always going to recommend the Chanel. Uh, this is the Soleil Tan Deep Bronze. 
even though this is more of a bronzing cream and not necessarily a contour, you can use this darker color if you're my complexion. You can use the 395 as a contour, just using it in more of a direct area instead of really blending it. But this, you get a lot of, you get your money's worth out of this because you get a full ounce worth of product in this. Now the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Contours, this is a half ounce for both of the products in here. So this is 15 grams of product of both. This is 30 grams. Of course, the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand and the Beauty Light Wand, like these two together are match made in heaven. There are a lot of great formulas out there. That's just a few to name. Let's talk about the highlighter duos. You guys, I love these. I did try to find a few blushes in my collection that have that iridescence and that shine to them, but this, even though those swatches looked a little bit strong, that was going over it several times. So I wanna make that clear. I did it that way so you guys could see the tones. So I'm gonna put a picture up here on the screen of a few layers of swatches, just so you guys can see what it looks like with layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four. Because when you're swatching, in order to really get the color to show up, Sometimes you have to go over it several times and I wanted you guys to see the tones. So just know that, that these are not super shimmery on the face. They lay really beautifully. It has that pearlescent kind of shine, but in the softest way. It's not, it's the perfect texture for a illuminating blush. It really, really is. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous product. I love these. And I, you know, I know that they're on sale right now at Nordstrom's and I know that you can pick them up right now for 20% off during the Sephora sale. If these are on your list, you won't be disappointed. They're very pricey. So here's my thing. With all of that said, with me loving them, I love the contour, I love the highlighter duos. Are these fully necessary? No, they're definitely just a luxury splurge at the end of the day. So I do hope this video was helpful. Sound off down below. How many of you guys have picked up these products? And if you have, what is your experience? I'm so curious to hear your thoughts, especially if your thoughts differ from mine. So if you have these palettes and you don't like them, share with us in the comment section down below what you're not liking about them. I love hearing both sides of the conversation, so definitely sound off down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.